Hey, hi! Welcome to the video series for your paper tree. As you can see, I'm casual and weekend wear today. So in this video, we will talk about what is important in paper tree. My focus is on question one. Uh, Miss Ellie will bring you through question two, so you are not so bored listening to the same lecture all the time. And uh, we're gonna start now. So in paper tree, you have two questions. If you have seen from the introduction video, uh, the first question is the one that is a little bit more analytical based, meaning you have to uh, have data, plot a graph and analyze the graph to get uh, suitable values. Now the thing about this particular question is that in my opinion, it's very easy to score a mark of 17, 18 or 20 out of 20. Okay, because question two is a conceptual question. Now, if you are not so good at writing explanation, if that's your weakness, if you are like always not very specific and you don't know what being specific is, well then, um, question one is where you score. All right. So generally, um, a good candidate should target to get as many marks as possible for this paper because it's something that you can train. But you know, 2020 has been giving us all sorts of surprises. So you're only going to have to practice, have the chance to practice this. If let's say you have an ON sitting, this only is valid if you're watching this during the COVID thing. Okay, if you're watching this after this, it doesn't count anymore. Anyway, you will be only able to given a chance to practice your labs maybe about seven or six times because social distancing, all right? So every single lab is important uh, and you can treat it as an opportunity to practice for your exam, right? So here, um, you can see these are the skills that they will test you in your question one. Um, and regarding these skills, right? Let me zoom in a bit for you. Regarding these skills, an important thing to note uh, is that they are not very, they don't really very, um, how should I put it? They don't really stick very faithfully to this allocation. So it's just a rough estimate. In my opinion, if you have good skills of writing your report, you shouldn't worry how the mark is really allocated. But I'm going to break this video series into three short videos. So this is the first one, which carries about half the marks. Uh -huh. Where we're going to look at your ability to manipulate, measure, and observe an experiment. So the so-called manipulate, uh, if you remember in your semester one, they will tell you what to do. You don't have to design your experiment. You follow only, if they ask you to clip the thing there, you clip the thing there. They ask you to clamp the retort stand like that, you clamp the retort stand like that. Just follow, okay? But as you follow, you should think about how you are going to change your independent variable, measure that change, and then change your dependent variable and also measure that change. You gotta like have it in your head that um sorry about my phone yeah but how to do it lah okay of course you can talk to your lecturers but it's good to always have this in mind as you set up okay i will run through a quick experiment for you to show you what i mean okay so that's why hence is manipulation measurement and observation all right so these skills are if you are watching this video from the comforts of your home and you have never really done the lab before, I cannot give you that training, okay? I can talk to you about it. You can imagine that you're doing the experiment, but the best thing is actually you doing it yourself. So if you have the opportunity to return to the labs, please make use of every single lab to try to improve your skills or your practice because you, you only got seven chances, lah, okay? But prioritize your well-being, okay? Not... Don't come back just for the sake of coming back. Know why you are here and make the best out of it. All right, so this one, successful collection of data is five marks. Today, I'm going to talk about all of this. Uh, we're going to collect data. We're going to look at the quality of the data. All the way. Table of results because we'll, we will look at how you present the data and then how you record the data and the observation. So all of this, this whole thing, 10 marks. I would say 10 marks plus minus 1 mark. Lah. And the reason why it's plus minus 1 mark is because, um, like I said, every year is not the same. And as you can see down there, they put the asterisk and then they say, oh, we 
we'll put the remaining three marks anywhere we want depending on the question okay so their allocation may vary from paper to paper or question to question okay so now what we're going to do is i'm going to do a mark along maybe basically you watch me mark la, like a twitch streamer but instead of me playing a very nice video game i'm going to mark some candidate responses so exciting ho ayo what is life these days i am a social media influencer okay so if you're wondering where these uh, scripts come from i got them from uh, miss ellie's classes um yeah so these are just a sample size of some of her students and uh, i will roughly run through the mark scheme with you but before that we're gonna see if you remember the experiment you did before mco way this is the last experiment you did measuring the resistivity of a wire okay so in this experiment you'll calculate the resistivity by making measurements of voltage and current so the apparatus will look like this okay so in the lab right you're going to connect a circuit this way lah. we will try to do another video with the real instrument to tell you how to use a multimeter again but that will be a bit later lah, right okay so in this experiment what we're going to do is we will obviously change the length how do you know okay lah, you read the whole thing first lah. so just follow the experiment they say set up okay lah, you set up there's a wire here you connect a voltmeter across the battery and an emitter in series to the battery with a flying LED. It's, it's just a connector, like, like a jockey. Okay, it doesn't fly on its own. We ain't in, in any Harry Potter show. Alright, so it says here use the micrometer screw gauge to measure the average diameter of the resistance wire by taking several readings along the length of the wire. So immediately, I see a problem with this candidate response already. Okay, like partially is also the lab report spot. If they ask you to take several readings and I only see one reading, I will straight away minus one mark already. You could say, but miss, I took so many. I calculate at the side. I never write inside. How would I know? How would I know? So make sure you show the calculation here. Meaning to say, your answer should look something like this. Hey, take out the famous red pen. Once again, if you are not new to my video, I uh, my screen is a bit stretched, so the handwriting is going to look a bit fat. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, let me adjust. I need to adjust some screen. If not, I got hand-eye coordination problem. Hang on a sec. If you have a buzzing sound in the background, MCKL is fogging the dengue thing, I think. Okay. Which is what they tend to do when you're not around. Lah. Okay, anyway, take several readings. Meaning, I should see something like, Oh, D1 is equal to, I don't know, 0 0.15 mm. Maybe you measure again at a different part of the wire, 0 0.13 mm. So, hence, D would be average law. Miss, take how many? At least two. Lah. You can take three. Don't take too many. Lah. All right? Two or three will do, and then you find your D law 0 0.15 diameter plus 0 0.13 divided by 2. Okay, so immediately I will minus one mark because there is no evidence. I need the evidence, so no evidence of repeated reading. Okay, next, think about a micrometer screw gauge. What is the sensitivity or smallest reading? So, smallest reading of a meter rule is 1 mm. Go look at your ruler lah. Meter rule is 1 mm. Vernier caliper is 0.1 mm. Uh, and micrometer is 0 0.01 mm. So, okay lah. I expect this one to have two decimal point. Two decimal point with the unit, I can give you one mark. Alright, so you need, for you to get one mark, right, is uh, to have a repeated answer, which you don't have, okay? And the other mark is two decimal point in millimeter with unit written. So if you want to change to meter, also can. Alright, just make sure the number of decimal point is still the same. 
two decimal point in millimeter. Okay, moving on. Connect the circuit, the flying lead should have a bare connecting end, and then you can touch any part of the wire. Using the flying lead, make a connection such that the resistance such that with the resistance wire, so that the length L is one meter of the resistance. Okay, sure. Record the reading from the ammeter and the voltmeter, and then disconnect the lead. Okay, so for this particular part, right? Sometimes, some years, they will give you one mark. Some years, they don't give you mark. So it, it, it depends, okay? So generally, what I'll see is uh, I will look at your instrument, okay? So um, I think the lead voltmeter is okay to measure this, okay? 0 to 5 volts seems pretty okay. That's about 4 batteries because one battery is 1.5 volts. So 4 batteries, about 6 volts. Okay, so this is fine. But here it's confirmed wrong already. You know why I know? 91.3 ampere, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is enough to fry the whole building, okay? Let's say we talk about an air condition or a water heater, something that is already very, um, how should I put it? It's already very, that needs a lot of current. That is also like 1 point something or 2 ampere. We will never let you use 91 ampere in the lab. Very dangerous, super dangerous, okay? So this one is highly likely in milliampere. Now, I long time never teach SAM1 now. So the last time I did a SAM1 lab was one and a half years ago. So I don't really remember, but I know confirm it's not 91.3. Uh, milliampere then can, uh, okay? So check your meter properly. How to check lah? Uh, if you wait for the next video lah, they actually will indicate on top on top of the multimeter. I will try to record one soon. All right. So here is the important part where you reach the table. Now when you reach the table, right, you have anywhere from nine, eight to ten marks uh, And certain years uh, wah, sub to, uh, you get eleven. Okay. So this one is pretty straightforward. In this case, right, you already know that repeat step B until you have six set of data of L, I, and V. So you have to ask yourself, uh, which one is easy to change? The voltmeter and ammeter reading, or the length of where the flying lead is from the, let's say the flying lead would touch the, let's say you put this here la, okay? So your L is actually here to here. So you tell me la, which one is easier to, for you to change? Of course, this one is your independent variable, okay? So, for you to get your marks, all right, uh, here is the rough mark scheme. I'm going to just, let me shrink it a bit so that it fits the screen. What is the problem with lack of scaling, okay? So, anyway, the idea here is, right, we are going to check the range of your ooh, this is the smallest okay then so we're going to check the range of your table okay so uh, to make sure that i'm still in view i'll pull this here okay so we can write on it then i'll push it back i can't push it back so i'll type like okay all right so number one the first thing i look at is is there six reading or oh, let's see the candidate a oh, one two three four five six okay can six reading if I see 6 reading, immediately, this point, you are scored 5 marks already. Okay? You are already scored 5 marks. Because you have 6 marks. Okay? Well done. Okay? So 5 out of 5. Okay? But, if the trend is wrong, can see ya? Let me check. Okay. If the trend is wrong, what do you mean by trend is wrong? So, for example, in this particular lab, oh, I will expect the longer the wire, longer the wire, the smaller the current. Why? Because when the wire is long, there's more resistance, so there's less current. So quite logic one. Uh. The only reason why your trend will be wrong is only if you connect wrongly. Okay, so always take the time to think about the circuits you have learned prior to this. Okay, so I'm just going to write this down. So normally when I mark, I'll write like this now. Okay, so six reading also have, you get five marks. Okay, and uh, trend wrong, trend is okay. 
because when you can see when it's longer and longer, the value of i is decreasing. Okay, so this one is not really a problem. So basically, the trend should be when L, the trend, trend here, the trend that we expect is when L increase, I will decrease, and your V, how about your V? Well, if you look at your V here, your V is actually increasing, which makes sense lah, because um, there's some form of internal resistance in the battery. So if there's less current flowing through the battery, there's less voltage loss in the battery. There's less lost volts or there's less tax to pay. Because whenever you think about internal resistance, it's like lost volts or the tax that you have to pay your power supply. So the more current is being pushed out, the more energy is wasted as lost volts inside the power supply. So you can see when the value of I is very small, there is less energy loss in the power supply. you got more voltage on the outside for the wire. Okay, so I should get this trend. If no this trend, I minus one mark low. Okay, no big deal, MBD. Okay, if let's say the circuit is too complicated, teacher, I don't know how to connect. So we will come and help you. Lah, okay, but if we come and help you, Okay, first thing we will check is, is there any instrument error? Lah? Your instrument got spoiled or not? Okay, if your instrument spoiled, that means it's not your fault. We will not penalize you. But if your instruments are working fine and you still ask for help, then we will tell you first, lah, I'm going to help you now. And with that helping, uh, Cambridge will minus one or two marks depending on what they think is fit. Lah. Okay, so we'll minus if help. All right. So next, range of independent variable, which is your L. You should have r roughly 80% of the given values in the experiment. So for example, in this experiment, right, you have a resistant wire on a meter rule, meaning your smallest possible reading is 0 and your largest possible reading is 100. So I expect uh, long must be close to 100, short must be close to 0. You don't go and be a special unicorn and go and do, oh... 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Hello, I give you so long wire, you use so little bit in the middle. Not good enough. Okay, so the next part is range. So the range as long or as much as possible. You get one mark. Lor. Okay, so if your range is as much as possible, you get one mark. Heading with units denoted with slash or brackets. If you look at this one, uh, mm, you see uh, this student, very cute one. This one is 91.3, but here she knows how to change back to milli, he or she. I don't know. I don't know the student because it's not my student. Hey, impartial, ma. okay? So, hmm, hmm, hmm. So, always develop that kind of awareness, okay? Okay, lah. It all happens to all of us. So, um, heading, unit, okay, looks fine. So, this one I got a slight problem, but it's just a writing problem, lah. It depends on the examiner, lah. When you V slash I slash O ma, then I'm like, what is slashing what and who is the unit and how? So you have she has he or she have two choices. You can either V slash I and then you bracket O at the side. And then if you are the type that I want everything to be consistent, then everything else, the L, the I, the V have to be bracket low. If not, you can always write like this, ma. You can write V over I. Ah. And then only you slash law. Okay, because the slash here is to represent the unit, not to divide, okay? So if you want to play it safe, you can have it in the bracket. Alright, so I think the header is fine for this candidate, so I'm going to give it one mark, okay? Decimal point of measured values are the same and has to be consistent to the meter rule. I am a little bit strict, lah, okay? So when we say consistent to the meter rule, lah, um put here first same and consistent to the meter rule or the instrument used lah. so if you are using an instrument that can read to 1 mm I expect all of this to have a zero at the back correct because 1 mm is times 1000 ma. 
if you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so if you want this, this one should all be zero. Okay, so in this case, my mark is lost here at zero. Okay, significant figure of calculated value. So we look at DP and then we look at SF. So normally when I mark at the side here, I'm going to write something like range, one mark, okay, heading, one mark. Decimal point zero, significant figure, and then the value. Okay, so um, significant figure here, I will check the significant figure of the calculated value, meaning I will check the V over I. Now, if you look at this particular V over I, okay, you will notice that it uses V and it uses I. Okay, so if you're confused about the decimal point, and the uh, measured or and the significant values, right? You ask yourself, did I measure or did I calculate? So I think all these three is measured either through the ruler or the multimeter. So if it's measured, right? I will check the decimal point. And then it has to fit the sensitivity of the instrument that I know you are using. And your question would be, Miss, ah, during the actual exam, how would they know what we are using? Ah, as examiner or as, I don't know what name they call the lecturers. Lah. As lecturers, we will write a report of your experiment. So when we write the report of your experiment, we will tell, lah, oh, we told the candidates to use this setting in the vote meter. So the, lecturer, the examiner will know, okay? So we will look at the sensitivity. Please be sensitive about the sensitivity. So for this one, uh, I feel a bit shady uh, because I think our lab vote meter can read to 3SF. So here also, uh, mm, 我不知道, I don't know. But never mind, never mind. Give benefit of doubt, maybe use vote meter. Leh, the analog one, I don't know what she's using. Leh, okay. So never mind. So this one dun 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 dun, looks okay. So if you check the calculated value, Calculator value no longer measured, so we are not going to look at sensitivity, you know. If this one is calculated, we are going to look at sig fig or significant figures. So let's say, for example, V over I is calculated from V and I. This one is 2SF, 4.0. 0 0.1996. This one is 4SF. So what should you do? You should follow the least SF, which is 2, meaning this one would be 2 SF or 2 plus 1, which is 3 SF. So same or plus 1 from the least SF value. Okay? So, um, ayo, all 4 SF. Ah. So the SF here would be a 0. Okay? And the value here is the value calculated. La. I'm assuming you take 4.9 divided by 0 0.913, you get this one. La. In the actual exam, I will check one by one. But this is practice paper, we shall assume she correct. She calculated all correctly, so this one is 1. Okay, so this is generally how your paper is being marked. Just going to type it in here, so you can see. Significant value didn't follow, so 0. Uh, correct calculation in good faith, I think correct lah. So now uh, it will be 8 out of 10. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hope that's uh, not too confusing for you. Alright, so um, again, there will be a PDF link to this document uh, in the description of the video. Okay, so you can always refer to this and talk to your lecturers. Alright, so we are actually... Um, favoring candidates who have an eye for detail. So if you're the type that have eye for detail, you should be able to do well in this part of the question. Okay, if not, you always like careless, ah, then got problem law. So now I'm going to mark very fast, okay? So I'm not going to use uh, this one. Okay, so I'm going to mark very fast and then you'll get a sense of how things are like. So this one will be minus one, okay? Um, this one... Hmm, they even using the same circuit. I feel very weird with this value. Okay, 
So I'm not going to comment on that because I wasn't there when the experiment was being done. All right. So six value. I see six. And then the trend would be okay. So you get five marks. Range. I'll give zero. You start at 40 cm. Uh. That's almost half of the wire not being used. Okay. And then decimal point also zero. In cm, this must be 0 .0, 0 0.0. Okay. Uh, SF. Hmm. This is 2 SF. 3 SF. So this one is 3 SF. Okay, can Because the least SF is 2. So one mark. Header. Well, I don't know how to spell already. Header of the table. Header of the table here looks okay. One mark. Okay, and then value. I'm not going to check lah because you don't want to see me pressing calculator, right? So the value here would be uh, one mark. So this one will get 8 out of 10. Okay. I find these values a bit hard to believe. So I'm just going to look at this table and then I'm like... But... You understand why, right? Because of... You see, this one is 1 meter. So when this one is 1 meter, you get these numbers. Uh. So I see this. But where on earth is this? What is this? Should you get 2.63? Okay, if you are that lottery student who answered this question, you let me know lah, because I don't know what's happening. What is happening? Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next candidate. By the way, if you already roughly know, you can just move on to the next video, because I'm just going to be marking a few scripts. Or oh, you can learn from other people's mistakes. Alright, let's check out. Okay, now this one, uh, I actually question... <laughs> myself whether the students are using the same wire because remember we had for the first candidate 0 0.14 mm and then this one 0 0.27 mm the wire double the size two times so okay now mind we shall assume it's okay if you're gonna ask me exam time how there well cie will tell us what wire to use and because we use the wire that they tell us to use they know the actual diameter of the wire okay so they are going to provide a range if you are within 20% of the actual value, you're fine. Okay. Wow, this one may your unit. Yeah, no unit. Uh, I'm ten tempted to just give zero. Okay. Paper tree unit is super important. Alright, let's spot the mistakes. Do you see any? Pause the video and think about it. Alright, anyway, so our first one, uh, I must see. And the first mistake would be mm, number one. Six reading. Uh, I see six. Trend is okay, so I can give five marks here. See how nice it is, like bonus for you. Because after that, we're gonna trash you. All right, heading. Slight inconsistency, but I can accept one mark. The bracket for um, okay. So reading is okay. Now we are at range zero. The candidate only uses 25 cm of a 1 meter wire. Then the remaining 75 cm for you to do what? Arts and craft. Ah. Use the whole wire, okay? Alright, so some got problem now. So minus one mark. Let's look at the decimal point. Mm -hmm. Same idea, need 2.0. Huh? Okay, what about SF? Wow, 5SF. Ah. If you reach 5SF territory, confirm you wrong wrong. Confirm. Almost confirm. Unless some special experiment that I couldn't think about right now. But if you reach 5SF, it's either you wrong or you go and change into some unit. Some other. Still don't. No. No 5SF. I don't care what unit you use. Please don't go to 5. 4 is also a bit dicey already, okay? Furthermore, so many numbers. So again, we check the significant figure. This one is 3SF. This one is 3SF. I no matter la, whether you read correct or not. I just look at this one. So this one must be 3 or 4SF. A zero. Okay, la, I am assuming that the value, again, in good faith is correct. So this one is 7 out of 10. 
try to get 10 out of 10. Very easy one, okay? Alright, this one, ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful student here has written this in meter. Can the prefix works out? Mm, sure, no problem. Alright, this one. Why are uh, why are these students so special? Why uh, can write 1.4 volt but why one 1400 milli volt? Why? Why? Wait some more. Okay, never mind. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, can. Alright. This one the decimal point uh very hard to say. Uh. I assume got lah. Huh? But you see, uh, your paper will be scanned also by CIE. So make sure that your imprint is uh, sufficient. Uh. Of course, this one is scanned by your phone camera. It's a slightly inferior scanner. Okay, I got a few questions, but let me award the five marks first. So, six readings. Dun, dun, dun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, looks good. Uh, the trend. Okay, okay, can. So you get five marks. Header. Um, header one mark. Range. Eh, okay. You might be wondering, do you always have to gap uniform gap? No, not necessarily. Okay. So it's okay to be like uh one meter, 90 cm, 80 cm. Oh no, I forgot. Okay, never mind. You can jump to 60, then 40, then 20. Okay, that's okay. As long as it doesn't look like Again, as long as it doesn't look like 100, 95, 90, 85, 80. Oh crap, I forgot 10. Because your graph won't look very weird. Next video, we talk about graph. Okay, so we continue. Um, the range is okay. Decimal point. My zero mark. Okay, same problem here. I think it's across the board. Um, significant figure. I actually don't really know why the candidate got so many SF in I. I don't know why. I don't know what meter, what special meter he or she is using. But it looks wrong. Okay. So, because of this. Normally, we don't subtract. Like, the DP we will specifically look at L only. And it will affect your reading for your V. In fact, right, if I look at all of this, uh, this one is 3SF. But then the girl would want to suddenly for some good reason tiba tiba tak tau apa sal 2SF. Why ah? The SF have to be the same. Decimal point not same, never mind for calculated value, but SF have to be consistent. So in this case, um SF I am so sorry I have to give zero. Furthermore, you see this one got 5 SF. And then this one only 2 SF. Where can? You must maintain the same SF at least. Okay, so dun 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 again value I assume got mark la. Okay, so this will be eight out of ten. Okay, you can see everyone tend to lose marks around the same place, so these are all rooms for improvement. I am also tempted to think that this candidate measured not this one. This candidate oh, measured the diameter wrongly. Eh? It could be out of range. Ah. Okay. Don't know yet. Because I Okay, doesn't matter. Alright, this one the values looks good. So I'm just gonna be all okay. Mm, I like I, oh no, where's my own? Oh so sad, so so sad. Six reading. I see six. I see a decreasing current and an increasing potential difference with increasing length. So you get five marks. Um header zero because of the missing ohm. Range. What's the smallest read? Smallest reading 50 ah. Oh yeah, sorry lor. Half of the wire you didn't use. Too bad. Decimal point, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this one we got. Significant figure. Okay, let's check. You see, ah, uh, good thing all the V consistent. So this is 3 SF. Okay, so this one sometimes is 3, sometimes is 4. But never mind now, you want to play it safe, you follow the least SF, which is 3. Least SF is 3, so this one should be 3 or 4 SF. I look at all of this, it's 3 SF, so you get 1 mark. Very nice. Again, the value of your V over I, I assume is correct. So this one is also 8 out of 10. I thought Miss Ellie will give me a range of students, or maybe all her students are the same. 
All right, who knows? Okay, so these three values on top looks the same. You might be thinking, why they give me this? Why why need to write the first one? This is called testing to make sure your equipment can gallant. If let's say you connect, connect already, then you measure, ah yeah, both meter no reading, and meter no reading. This is when you know you mess up all, then you can check again. This is why we always take a preliminary reading or aka test run, test drive. So here there's a beautiful table. Well, at least her students got very good handwriting. My students' handwriting, I don't know sometimes what's happening. Anyway, this is five marks. I see the correct trend. Um, Heading, sure, one mark. Range, again, you stop at 50 meter, I'm going to give you zero. Uh, decimal point, one. Significant figure, check again, no? This is 3SF, this is 3SF, so you take 3SF, divide by 3SF, you keep 3SF, very nice, very nice. Okay, and then again, value, I'm not going to cross-check. I assume it's correct. So this is 9 out of 10. Will we get a 10 out of 10, guys? I don't know. Are we running out of candidates? I think we got maybe two more. We'll see. Okay, this one is okay. My unit wear went for a walk. Minus mark one, huh? okay. Walao. Okay, six reading. Correct trend. Okay, sure. Maybe a bit bored now, so put out the music a bit. Right, six reading correct trend. This is five. Uh, header, ah, ding ding. Hmm, why don't just write V? Why write V O L T S? But then this one you never write C E N T I M E T E R, and this one you didn't write M I L I A M P E R E. You get my point, right? Like, why? Yeah, my line give you face. Subjected to the examiner one, okay. So the heading, the range is a zero. Decimal point, a zero. Hmm. Significant figure and value. Significant figure can get one because across the board, everyone is 3SF. And then this one is one. So this is still 8 out of 10. This one, no, this one. Okay. Alright. Oh, I think this is the last student. Is it? Oh no, second last. Okay. So once again, um, this one is wrong because I expect a two decimal point. Uh, so it should be two dp. This one is okay. Voila, one hundred ampere. Are you running a generator like a huge power station? <laughs> this one is still okay. Believable. Oh wow. Wow, now oh, this is a reaction video. Okay, I think you see some problems, huh? First one. <laughs> so sad, so sad, so, so sad. Okay, nearest MM. So I'm just going to check the fixed reading. Um, is the trend following? The longer the wire, the smaller, the larger. Okay, can. I think this is very hard to mess up the trend now. Okay, heading. Okay. Range. You still only use 0.5 meter. So you. Mm, decimal point. Zero, obviously. Significant figure. Sure, 4SF is fine because this is 4SF and this is 3SF. So this one can be 3 or 4. Lah. Can. And then again, value I auto award, assuming that you can press calculator with no problem. So this will be eight out of ten. All right, this one, this one. Mm. You guys using the same wire? This is a very tiny wire, guys. Can you measure? It's like your wire is the smallest reading on your micrometer. I'm sorry, this one is too outrageous. There, okay. Smallest reading the micrometer cannot lah makes no sense. All right, this one is okay. Sure, I suspect this candidate didn't use all his batteries in the circuit. His or her batteries, I don't know. Wow, 
maybe connect wrongly. Okay, I'll comment later. Anyway, this one is okay lah, still can. And now this one uh, you can immediately tell that there's a range problem, but I just want to direct yourself to your sixth reading. If you look at your sixth reading, uh, can you see that the trend got problem? Why is your vote the same? Guys, if you build a table, it means that something should be increasing or decreasing. Okay, there should be a trend. If it increase, then decrease, or decrease, then increase, something is wrong. Mainly your setup. Please check. Maybe you read the reading wrongly. Maybe you understand the experiment wrongly. Something is wrong somewhere. Don't just continue on with life. Later, your graph very weird. Okay, and then you're like physics very hard, but actually. Screaming 1.41 for you, this unauspicious Chinese number, six times. You should have like, uh, help. Okay, so anyway, rant over. So all this uh, cannot be lah. It's going to be the plan, all the same. Where can? You're saying that you change the length of the wire, you don't change the potential difference. Then what is this thing called the potential divider, guys? Okay, so this one cannot uh. So I will give you four marks. Because the trend minus one. Okay. Um, header. One mark. Again. Why you, why you spell votes but don't spell the other ones? A bit tian sing. You know, favoritism. Alright. Range. Range is zero because your smallest reading is 50. You only use half of the ruler. And then decimal point. Is Kayla can give you one significant figure 2SF for I, 3SF for V, V over I, 3SF. Okay, again, value I assume the same lah, one mark. So, in total, actually, also didn't die that badly lah, 8 out of 10. I grumble, grumble, you still get 8 out of 10. I know grumble, also 8 out of 10. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to get a 10 out of 10. It is not impossible, okay? It's just listen to the detail, alright? Oh, wait, there's another one. Maybe this is the one. No, it's not the one. Look at this. Mm. Wrong. 142 votes are wrong. What's your kid? Mm, it's a bit painful, guys. Ah, now this is an example of. Ayo, I forgot I need to use the whole wire. <laughs> so I jump from 50 to 100. No. Okay. So, um, number one, six reading. Let me check the trend. Current should. Oh, trend is very weird because your. Current, so the longer the wire, the smaller the current. So larger, okay, I find the trend is okay. Five marks. Um, header. A bit annoyed with this, so zero. Om. 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 Use om. Okay. You take V over A, not mini ampere. If not, later all your values you calculate in the subsequent part of the question will be kachachatan, a bit off. Right, header. Range is zero because there's a huge jump and IDK what's happening. Decimal point, zero. Okay, sure. Significant figure. So I have significant figures running as low as two and then as high as three. So if you generally take three SF, you should be fine. So, but I but for SF we check horizontally lah. So for example, this one two SF, this is two, this is two, two, two become three. Sure, three maintain as three. Although I don't know whether this is four or seven. Is it four or seven? Three is three. Okay, can can la, can give you this marker kesian. Okay, so you can see. Paper 3 is not that hard to get quite good for the first half of the question, alright? So in the next video, wow, very long now, 44 minutes. In the next video, we will be plotting graphs based on the table.
all right so i'll see you there bye bye